In 2014, we invested in a very small company in Jerusalem. The company was led by a brilliant team with unique experience in computer vision from a military R&D unit and later on from Mobileye. At that time, in 2014, the company was focused on di accurate diagnostic of malaria. But already then, in 2014, the company was tackling, working on tackling the holy grail of blood test, complete blood count, CBC. At the same time, at the, at the other side of the globe, another company was tackling uh, complete blood count, Theranos. Five years later, and we all know what, how to compare between site diagnostic and Theranos. And to go beyond the hype, I want to invite to the stage the CTO of site diagnostic, Sarah Levy. Welcome, Sarah. Thank you, Lali. It's a pleasure to be here. And I guess it's safe to say every one of us in the crowd had a blood test, right? You go to see your doctor because you're not feeling well. And your doctor requests one. Let's wait for the results, they say. So you wait for the following morning to go to the clinic. They stick a needle in your arm, which may hurt, they uh, collect a vial of blood and send it to the central laboratory. Then you need to wait some more. You might wait a day, if not more than that, for the results. You might feel anxious about the results. When the results are ready, you wait to see your doctor for a follow-up appo appointment, and maybe then your treatment can begin. All this waiting and all this worry, just because your blood has to be tested at a professional laboratory. Just because until now, the most commonly ordered blood tests require large, complex, and expensive machines that can only be operated by professionals. We at SITE are here to change that, and I'm pleased to introduce Olo. Over the past decade, SITE has developed a new way for blood testing, using a finger prick of blood with results in minutes. Our blood analyzer creates a thousand images from just two drops of blood. This digitized blood sample is analyzed by our proprietary AI algorithms to visually classify and count individual cells and components in the blood. The Olo Analyzer offers doctors and patients lab-grade results at the point of care in 10 minutes. So no more waiting, no more painful needles, and most importantly, no more delays to treatment. And thank you. And I'm proud to announce that recently, the Olo Analyzer received FDA 510K clearance. And this, okay. very exciting for us, and this FDA clearance is a legal stamp of approval that our technology works. In fact, the FDA considers Olo to have the equivalent accuracy and precision as the state-of-the-art lab equipment that cost 10 times the price. They, they based their decision on extensive clinical trials at the Harvard Boston Children's Hospital and Columbia University Medical Center. Olo is now available for sale across five continents and is already being adopted across Europe and the United States. With four billion complete blood counts requested annually, SITE has access to capture and disrupt this huge market. And we're very excited to be raising a Series D to meet market demand by scaling our production lines and our global sales teams. Thank you very much, Sarah. Thank you. As part of our diligence for this uh, upcoming round, we sent our very own CEO to test the device. What do you need me to do? Great. What I need from you is a finger okay. um, and two drops of blood, just like you said. A very tiny scratch, and your complete blood count will be done in 10 minutes.
go in 10 minutes. Okay, a blood, a blood test, a full blood test with a drop of blood, complete blood count. That's great. Moving, moving from the perspective of the patient to the actual hospital, I'm delighted to invite to the stage Dr. Melnick from the Children's Hospital at Miami, which is the first U.S. customer of Psy Diagnostic. Welcome, Thank Steve. You. Thank you. Maybe you can share with us, to begin with, how did you come across Psy Diagnostic and how is it being used at the hospital? I had the opportunity to participate in a demonstration of OLO in November 2018 at Nicholas Children's Hospital, Miami, Florida, where I serve as chief of the Department of Pathology in the clinical laboratories. I've always believed that it's essential to be an early adapter of laboratory technology because this is the best way to care for our patients. So when I saw the OLO, I really felt this fit well with our paradigm, which has evolved over the past 20 years. We conducted an investigational study that lasted about three months where we compared the OLO to our standard uh, hematology analyzer, which we refer to as the gold standard. Not only did the OLO compare uh, equitably with the gold standard equipment in the clinical laboratory, but the OLO could be operated by almost anyone with minimal training, without maintenance, with two drops of blood. That is something that's unheard of with conventional hematology analyzers. So with that, we um, decided we're going to pursue this further. There are significant barriers to CBC analysis out in the community where it's really desperately needed because of the complexity, because of the skill that's required to operate it. But the OLO has diminished those barriers that allows us to be able to introduce this kind of technology as a point of care system that can be easily operated and provide the benefit of a complete CBC analysis for patients out in the community. So with that, we made the decision to expand the OLO into our urgent care centers. It's a network of 11 centers in South Florida, which care for children out in the community. And we're going to roll them out beginning next week. We're thrilled that next week will be the first implementation of an OLO in the United States. And afterwards, we're going to roll them out further uh, over the next year or so. First implementation in the United States. Well done. <clears throat> What excites you about the future of using this technology? Well, I, I believe that the OLO will be able to decentralize lab testing, meaning that the testing can be done outside the environment of a hospital or a commercial laboratory. It's very important that it not only be in urgent care centers, but in the United States, there's an evolving paradigm of commercial or retail health clinics which operate in drugstores, for example. So it's becoming an opportunity where the OLO can actually fit well with other point of care technology to serve patients in the community much more broadly. It's also important to decentralize CBC analysis within the hospital. We have three different types of intensive care units. We have an emergency department. If we can decentralize CBC testing to bring it where uh, the children are in those units, we can save valuable time performing this vital test. There's another important aspect. When the CBC is done, all the devices will provide different types of flags, indicating that there might be an abnormality in different blood cells. When that happens, it's essential to review it microscopically. Usually, a medical technologist or a pathologist has to look at a prepared slide from the blood, Sometimes we have to travel to go to the site where the test was done and provide a consultation to the physician so we can direct the, the appropriate care for the patient. We don't need to worry about this with the OLO because not only is the data in a digital form, so are the images. So the image capture and the data can be viewed anywhere by anyone at any time to provide immediate consultation with a physician treating a patient. Uh, and this is the way healthcare should be done in the 21st century. It shouldn't wait hours or, or even days to get a result. So this is really something that's going to change things drastically uh, as we see this become more decentralized. Thank you very much, Dr. Melnik. Thank you very much. Thank you. Pleasure having you here.
Moving qu very quickly, because we are out of time, moving very quickly to the perspective of investors, as site diagnostic is currently raising. I want to ask you, Sarah, uh, what is the plan for this Series D uh, fundraise? So we are phase, uh, raising funds now to be able to meet market demand. As we enter our next phase of growth, we intend to significantly scale our production lines and our global sales teams. And we are having a lot of interest from investors, and we aim for a Series D of 50 to $70 million. Thank you very much, Sarah. Site Diagnostic is currently funding on the site. I urge everyone to join this company. Thank you so much. Thank you.